I haven't been editing these photos and eventually I decided that maybe this is the most appropriate time to share with you my editing workflow in Capture One because I have a bunch of images that I am editing for the last video project that I did on the 25th of December this 2023 and these images are meant to be used on my video from that day which I am working on right now and because I needed these images I had to edit them before I exporting them to my video editing software for that reason i need to share with you so that you can get to experience basic editing in capture one if you are new this is the video for you if you are you have been doing this for quite some time now you could as well join and see a different way of editing because you have your preferences the way you like editing your pictures so even if you've been using this caption for quite some time and that you stick stick around and see what i do or how i use it uh, so which image, these ones I identify them, like this image, and first thing that I need to show you is, if you have edited an image like this one, and you think that this image is similar to this other image here, you can copy the edits from this image and paste them on this other image. Let me look for the appropriate image to do that. Yeah, you see this image here? We are going to copy the endings or edits from this image. We use this arrow here. It is called copy and adjustment from the primary variant. And the secondary variant is this one. Then to paste those candidates, we use this down arrow. It is called the apply and adjustment. And just like that, you have copied the settings. Alternatively, you can click this image, press Ctrl, click this other image. And I have selected all these three images and I can apply the settings I copy into all of them and if I don't like it in one particular image like this one I can use Ctrl Z and undo Ctrl Z that is how I copy my edits. So now let us work on this picture here. And we are going to start on this find. And on the far end, the last thing I notice is that this image is not sharp. So let us forget that unsharp image is. For that unsharp image, this one is sharp. Let us work with this one here. The first thing is to look at the image and see where there are discrepancies and collect them. The first thing I need to collect is the sky. I need to darken the gray 
Kali trombet, bust right in the sky, paroso, bust the shandos a little bit, how saturate the greens on the trees, and the ground, I could turn it a little warm, and let us see that image turns out. So let me make the white of the sky whiter. Then I use the color selector and advanced. And I'll select on the blue of the sky. Let's see if you have selected the specific color that you want to select. If you wanted to select, you can see if you select the color in tutorial, you tick it and everything but what you want and has been cleaned out that is what indicates whether you have selected the right thing or you are working with something you do not intend to work with so i can change the u but i do not need to change the u i actually want them to saturate that grooves As if I need that sunlight from it, the blues become the the tone, the one, the tone that I want, the tone that I want. Then you can see it a little bit, and I can increase the smoothness of the blue sky. So I am done with the blue skies and to check them before and after that is how the skies look you guys to tend anything that is how they look now so now that we are done with the skies let us go to the ground and I can select this car here let us see if you can find the U you also need to check whether what you are doing is affecting other ideas of the image if it is you might decide not to do that and find an alternative And this is the kind of view that I want. Saturation. I want to saturate it a little bit. And do I reduce the rate? Yes. I need to reduce the rate on the ground. So by using this weave, is it a weave, whatever it is, what I am doing right now is that I am taking away, I am taking it away from the greens of the trees, because when it goes like this, you can see they are starting selecting the green colors in the tree, which is not what I intend to do. So I start pushing it down as transparent. Just about there, and just like that, I am done with the ground. <laughs> oh, 
Agora está sempre o canal com essa mulher. Tambor da Ingrid. Olha, três. Ah, eu tenho que ir da Ingrid. São de três canais. São de três canais. Well, you can use some here to change it to... Wow, this one is starting... <laughs> this one is starting... Treat. Yes, I like the way this image is turning out. And... Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to change. Maybe you can go to the general settings here. And I can read the channels a little bit. And some contrast. And reduce the saturation a little bit. And what is how my image looks now? This is how the image was looking dark. A rivers. Can you see that? The image was looking rivers. That is how my image was looking. Extremely uninteresting. Now after those basic edits, you can see how the image looks. It looks lively and this is the power of using these editing tools they are here so that you can improve your work make it appearing now let us this let us this be the last image we do so that you can have a just a chance to explore a different tool and this one I'll start with an, an adjustment layer. So this plus will give you a new an adjustment layer. Then you have this is called linear gradient mask. And this is the last image I'm going to do. Unless you tell me we do another one. So too much, too much. Yeah, I think the tint has removed the green in the skies, which is a good thing. Then I should we add some brightness to the skies? No. I we should remove the brightness. Or the contrast. Then you can go to the colors or you can trade the saturation at the first. We don't want to do crazy changes that makes the image look natural. That is why I keep coming back to see why I've made abnormal changes. Because up now I can show you the changes I have done are normal changes. And they are internationally acceptable by all photographers that know that the reason why we edit images is not to change them and make them look like something that does not exist the main reason why we edit these pictures is to give them the look they had when we captioned them and then make some minor adjustments 
to improve them and some basic corrections so i think i am not going to the sky further i'm going to the background and we can work on the general image or should we work on the lower side of the image first now let me first go to the current play around with ingredient color Yes. I like the, uh, how the image is turning out and I will go back to my normal tool. Back around here. No. I want to return brightness to the overall image. Like that. A little overall saturation. A uh, little lifting of the shadows. Uh, let's go down. Let me make the white white. Let me still retain some highlights or increase the clarity a little bit. That is the image we end up with. JM Photography Cation Image Me.